All right, time to get serious. Serious video. I hate making these type of videos, but hi, peeps. Uh, my name is Christopher London. If you guys wanted to know my basketball story, and I thought, why not tell you my basketball story? Because that's also my YouTube story. I started playing basketball when I was three years old. My mom's six eight. Oh, not my mom. My mom's not six eight. Jesus Christ. My dad is six eight. My mom is six foot. I had no choice but to go to Hogwarts and play basketball. <laughs> that was a joke. I was born 24 inches, believe it or not, and that's that's pretty freakishly tall. I didn't start getting good at basketball until I was around seven years old. Parents at the YMCA would be like, "Oh, he's too tall. He's too good. Where's his birth certificate?" I've I've been through a lot. I've had several knee surgeries, uh, several heart procedures, four concussions, and I received my last concussion last season. Pretty much ended my career. And strangely, I've never been happier. I finally realized where my passion was really at, and I'll tell you how I came about that. I just left ORU. They released me because I was having heart issues, and I had a concussion. That was my third concussion. Before that concussion, I was in a car accident, a severe car accident, and I'm lucky to be alive right now. You know, I, I broke my hand in my senior year. I missed my whole senior campaign, so, and, but I did get a D1, Division One scholarship, redshirted, uh, and injuries caught up to me again. So I left, I went to go play overseas with where my family was at in England. Went to go see some different doctors and they cleared me. Uh, I was healthy, my heart was fine, got hurt again or ligament in my foot. At this point, I've had multiple surgeries, multiple injuries, and I was, I was about fed up. I was depressed, I was losing weight, and I was already insecure about my weight as it is, and even looking skinnier then, you know, I, I, I just, I didn't know what to do. I didn't have any friends, and you know, I'm not the type to have a bunch of friends to begin with, and all my good friends were in another country. So I was pretty lonely, and so I went to this platform, there's this guy, a particular YouTuber, Timothy Delegato. I've been watching him from the start. He was really the only YouTuber I ever watched for a while. He doesn't know this, but that guy really changed my life. He really did, and I, and I can't thank him enough. He doesn't, if it wasn't for him, I don't know what I'd be doing. And he inspired me to make YouTube videos. And one day, I just realized, you know, Tim makes me forget about my problems, you know, all my injuries and how I can't play basketball and it kills time. You know, I was out for three months, I needed something to do. And he just, I don't know what he said or what he did, but he just, he spoke to me and said, make videos, make people laugh. And without even telling me directly, just indirectly told me, make YouTube videos, man, make people laugh. And that's exactly what I did. I mean, I thought I was funny. I thought I could do what he was doing. Then it became a thing. I had two viral videos and that motivated me to make more. Then I got a partnership and bam, now I'm pretty much a YouTuber. And I try to tell my parents that and they just look at me crazy. To me, I, I even thought, what, what am I doing? And basketball is what I was born to do. So I flew back to America, got another scholarship to play Division Two. You know, YouTube was kind of my thing and Basketball was my thing, and I managed the two. I got hurt again, had to get knee surgery. I was a little depressed um, during that surgery. I got help, you know, my parents don't really know this, but I, I, I called for help, and uh, I talked to a guy, um, and he said, you know, take down a notebook or a journal and write down all your negative thoughts. And I had a lot of negative thoughts. And he said, write down next to that a positive thought. Then I want you to write down how you can overcome that negative thought. That's why I got this book right here. And I've been writing in it ever since. And it's helped me a lot. And one big issue was my weight. I lost a lot of weight because I had another concussion. Got hit right here in the head. And that was my fourth one. And I just wasn't healing. It was taking a lot longer than two months. I was on prescription. It was making me lose weight. I felt sick. I couldn't eat. I, I couldn't sleep. I, there's days. I literally was up for four days straight one, one week. And, you know, I couldn't, I wasn't really, I was still making YouTube videos. And I, I hid that. I hid that from you guys because I don't want people to feel sorry for me. That's the, that's the last thing I want. I, I just kept pushing through. I just kept praying every day saying, you know, keep pushing me through. Even you guys were helping me and you didn't even know it. That's why I remained on YouTube because without YouTube, I would have went insane. 
you know, so I told myself, okay, how do I kind of overcome this weight issue? I look in the mirror, I hate myself, I, I hate my body. And I just said, you know, you got to do something about it. Instead of, don't, don't talk about it, be about it. And I was always that, I always had that problem. I would say, okay, tomorrow I'm going to go work out. No, I wrote down in my book, I gave out, I wrote down a detailed plan of what I'm going to eat, when I'm going to eat, what I'm going to work out that day, how I'm going to work out, and what time and everything just so detailed and I said two months I'm gonna gain 25 pounds in two months and if I don't I don't I, I'm gonna do it it's already done and I did it I did it I was looking great I was feeling great and it's all it took it's all it took just action you know and writing down is that action a lot of people need like me I have to write it down or I won't do it later down the line the season ended I didn't play all season coach brought me in and said look Chris pretty injury prone and had knee surgery, then you had your concussion, that's your fourth one. It's really not safe for you to play. Doctors are saying, you know, you get one more, you could, you know, have Alzheimer's at an early age, so it's really not smart for you to play anymore. They took my scholarship, so we can't renew it. I'm sorry. Uh, you know, some schools like Division One, they let their students with career ending injuries play or go to school and on scholarships still, but it's a D2, they can't afford it. So I understood and you know, at first it didn't hit me when my coach told me you can't play anymore, you don't have a scholarship. You know, even me, I said I can't play, but when my dad said, you're not playing anymore, you're done. Just hang it up, move on. That's when it really hit me like, yo, I'm, I'm done playing basketball. Now, I'm a failure. I never reached my potential. I, I felt like I disappointed him. Even though I, he, I didn't, I felt like I did. I felt like a failure. I can't, I can't pick up a basketball anymore without being emotional. To be honest, I don't even want to. I don't. I, 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 it's weird that I'm happy that I can't play anymore. Isn't that strange? And I'm not a failure. I'm not. People would always tell me I'm going to be great one day. And I thought that was going to be in basketball. So then I would, I was praying every day throughout the summer. Just just give me a sign what, what I'm supposed to do. It's, it's killing me. It's killing me. I, I feel like what I was supposed to do, I can't do anymore. I work at a suit store. I came in and he motivated me to play again. Because he's seen what my potential was. He was a coach. He said I was really good and I, I could be somebody and then he started comparing me to all these other greats and their injuries and coming back and it really got me thinking and I thought that was my sign to go back and try to play again try to find that passion and my co-worker right after that guy left said Chris don't listen to that man he doesn't know what he's talking about if your passion's not there then you're gonna get hurt again let's say you go to the NBA and you get hit in the head. Now your brain, you, you got your brain dead, foaming at the mouth, drooling all the time. And he's at home with his family, not worried about you. Doesn't even know how you're doing. He's not gonna check up on you, but he's the guy that got you back on the court. See what I'm saying? And nine times out of 10, that was his dream that he could never achieve. So he wants you to achieve it because that's his dream, not yours. And then he asked me, what? It, what why do you want to play professional basketball? said for money well so would you, you wouldn't play it for free I said no I said, exactly because you don't have passion for it he said you're on youtube right you know you got a following and stuff but would you still do all that stuff would you still be a youtuber for free before i said anything else he's just like look money isn't everything my last job paid three times as much as this one does but I'm happier with this job. Why? Because this is my passion. I like suits. I've always had a passion for fashion. And he likes doing what he has to do. At the end of the day, that's what you're looking for. That's what you, that's where you want to be. Getting paid to do what you love to do. And that right there, peeps, is when I realized what I wanted to be. That's what I needed to hear. That was my sign. I can finally say with an open chest that I don't want to be a basketball player. I never wanted to be. I've always wanted to entertain people, even on the court. I was never there to score 30 points. I wouldn't be happy with a 30 point game. But if I dunk on somebody and just had two points, highlights, that's all I cared about. And I always felt like basketball was gonna be the way I inspired people or impacted the world. It opened the door to get me where I'm at because there's YouTubers 
who probably wouldn't have talked to me if I didn't have that experience playing basketball or, you know, I didn't do this in the basketball court or play here or play with that guy or play with this guy. So everything happens for a reason. It does. It does. You may not think so. You may not understand, but eventually it all comes together. Eventually it does. I want the world, this community to be better because I was here. I, I don't like people who are just in it for themselves. I just feel like if you're not making somebody else's life better, then you're wasting your time. What's the point of working if you're not making anything better? And I know I've changed people's lives. I know YouTube does change people's lives, just like it changed mine. I get emails, DMs, messages from you guys telling me like, you know, you you forget about your problems just by watching my videos. And that means the world to me. That's the best feeling in the world to somebody to tell you that you made their day. And that's what I live for. And you know, my dad, he gets on me because I need a, a, a plan B. He doesn't believe that I'm gonna get my degree in school. He doesn't believe that I, I, I wanna finish school. I wanna finish school, I'm gonna finish school. What he wants me to do is the traditional business route. And that's not, that's not what I'm about. I wanna be an entertainer. And because the entertainment's unstable, of course he's gonna be a little sketch about it. You know, he's my dad. He wants what's best for me, but I want to be a YouTuber. And if YouTube doesn't work out, then I'll go the traditional route of entertaining people. I'm goofy. I want to be funny on the internet. <laughs> and that sounds like a loner thing, but that's just who I am. And you know, most people don't like that because they need people to thrive. Now, you know, if I go on TV and movie, that's ideal, but talking to you guys, being on the internet, that's cool with me. I couldn't be any more fortunate to know where my passion's at and what I want to be and what I want to do because there's 40 year olds out there that don't have a clue what they want to do yet and you know I want to represent the idea of possibilities you know uh, represent being different I believe I can create whatever I want to create it's it's done I've done it I wrote in this book okay right can't can't see it dang it I wrote in this book 100,000 subscribers by December 2014. I wrote how I was gonna do it. I reminded myself every day. I looked at my goal book. I said, okay, did I do this? Am I doing that? And I reminded myself, and look at peeps, we've hit 100K subscribers before that. And that's amazing. It ain't shit, but that's success. To me, I'm a successful YouTuber. It may not be to you, but to me, that's success. And that's what I want to share with you guys. That's why I'm making you, that's why I'm telling you this story. That's all it takes. Having a million subscribers doesn't mean you're a successful YouTuber. It doesn't. It just doesn't. You know, people ask me, what's my plan B? I don't have a plan B. I don't worry about plan B. All I'm focused on is plan A, because plan B is going to distract me from plan A. Like I said, anything I put my mind to, I'm going to do it. It's done. It's just, you're just waiting for it to happen. And that's, that's it. That's why I never truly excelled in basketball because my I didn't put my all into it. I didn't put my heart into it. And something like YouTube, like this, I put my heart into it. I don't know if you can tell, but I do. I, I, I truly do. And it's gonna pay It's gonna pay off. It's paying off. You know, it's it may not be where I, I ideally, where anybody else would wanna be, but I couldn't be happier. I could, I seriously, I couldn't. A hundred thousand subscribers. A hundred thousand people like what you create. You know, a lot of, a lot of people try to get that. A lot of people get that overnight. That's okay. I have a plan. I know what I'm doing and that's perfectly fine. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what, you know, my goals are, what I'm going to be, what I'm going to do. You're just going to see it. You're seeing it. I'm on stage. I'm, I'm going to have a tour. You know, I'm, it, it's going to happen. It's going to happen. It's just, you just got to wait for it. I used to be the type of guy to just, just say, oh, I'll, I'll do it the next day. You know, I'll wait when the time is right or when it's a good time. No, do it now. Do it now. And that's what I learned. You got to do it now. Basketball, it's taught me a lot. It's taught me a lot of life lessons, which is why I encourage all of you to play some type of sport because sports teach you life lessons that you're going to need and it's going to prepare you for the real world, you know, when you become older. And you'll realize that as you get older. And that's why I'm thankful to have a dad like I do because he pushed me and like most dads wouldn't and it's made me a stronger person. It has and it's got me where I'm at today. I'm just tired of being realistic, you know, and being realistic is being a basketball player. You know, my height, you know, I'm talented, I can shoot, you know, that he should be a basketball player. 
No, that's not what I want to be. It's probably what you want to see me be because that's that's the typical. That's realistic. To me, being realistic is boring. It is. It's boring. It's not fun. That's just me. I'm not saying every 16 guy that's successful basketball player is boring or, you know, all of that. That's them. That's what they want to do. But that's not what I want to do. That's not what every tall guy you see wants to be. You know, I it sucks because there's a, there's a lot more guys than me out there that are just tall and don't play any sports and get shit because they don't play sports and they people think that they should be playing sports. Why? Because they're tall and it's realistic. Well, maybe that guy wants to be an engineer. Maybe he wants to be an architect. But because he's 6'10", you guys are going to put him in all these tournaments that he doesn't even want to be in. He's just there so you can make money, so your college can make money, so all these other people can make money because it's your dream, it's what you want. It's not what they want. It's not about, it's, it's not about you. It's about them. And now I'm, I'm not worried about them. I'm worried about me. You know, I'm a grown-ass man now. I, I don't have to. I don't. You know, when your parents tell you to do something, you do it. They're your parents. But once you get to a certain age, that's when you make the decision. Don't let other people put limitations on your dream. You know, I've learned that I'm no longer going to let people on the streets, random people, put limitation on my dream. You know, so what if they get upset if I tell them I don't play basketball anymore? Right after that, I'm going to tell them what I am doing. And I'm killing it. I just want to thank you guys. I just want to thank you. I don't thank you guys enough, honestly. You know, I thank my friends. You know, I thank my family. I thank you guys, the viewers, the, the YouTubers that I'm also friends with, all of you. I thank this the whole community. Thank you for inspiring me to be different. Thank you for everything you do. Sharing my videos, hitting the thumbs up, buying my merch, following me on social medias. You know, that you don't have to do that. You don't have to do any of that, but you do. And I thank you. And I'm going to continue to make videos for you. Um, they're not going to be like this. They're actually going to be funny. I am actually funny, guys. Okay? So if this is your first time watching me, please don't judge me off of this one. It's not, I'm not corny and inspirational like that. I don't even know if I'm inspirational. But okay, guys, I'm getting goofy. The video's almost over. Come on. No, I can do this. I can do this. I can stay serious the whole video. All right. No. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for 100,000 subscribers. Just so you guys know, this is only the beginning. I ain't shit now, but I will be. I'm Christopher London, and I'm not a basketball player. I'm a YouTuber. Make sure you wear some time. Peace. Who do you add me like? Mokey. Okay.